China General Defense Maritime Role in Island Disputes A senior Chinese general has rejected criticism over his country's role in territorial disputes in the South and East China Seas. General Kui Jingguo, Deputy Chief of Staff of the People's Liberation Army, insisted that China wanted peaceful development alongside its neighbors. He insisted on China's sovereignty to the Diao Islands but distanced it from claims to the Okinawa Group. Meanwhile, police in Vietnam arrested at least 20 anti-China protesters. Demonstrations took place in Vietnamese capital Hanoi as part of growing tensions over long-standing territorial disputes in South China Sea, including Spotly and Paracel Islands. General Kui, who is also China's head of military intelligence, was speaking at a security conference in Singapore, the Shangri-La Dialogue, where China's military behavior has been questioned. China has never taken foreign expansion and military conquering as a state policy, the news agency AFP reported him as saying. We've always held the conflicts and disputes should be properly sold through dialogues, consultations and peaceful negotiations. India's economic growth at slowest rate in a decade. India's economy grew at its slowest pace in a decade during the 2012-13 financial year, figures show. The economy grew by 5% over the year after having grown at an annual pace of 4.8% in January to March quarter. India has also recorded annual growth of 9% until two years ago, but in recent months it has seen a sharp decline blamed on a slowdown in the manufacturing and service sectors. Foreign investors have also kept away due to delays in key reforms. According to the latest figures released by the Ministry of Statistics, India's manufacturing sector grew by at an annual pace of 2.6% during the latest quarter, while output rose by just 1.4%. The figures are in line with official estimates in February. India lowered its growth forecast to 5% for the year, underlining the challenge in it faced in reviving the sluggish economy. Last month, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh said the current downturn was temporary and he was confident that the country's economy would bounce back on an 8% growth rate. We'll move on to the business world. And the right to introduce income tax for its first time. And the right to introduce a tax on personal income for the first time as it faces pressure from its European neighbors to tackle tax evasion. Anthony Marty, the head of the Andorran government, told French President Francois Hollande that it will introduce a bill before 30th June. The principality will gradually meet international tax standards according to the office of the French president. Anthony Marty, the head of the Andorran government, the principality will gradually meet international tax standards according to the office of the French president. There is currently no income tax applied to individuals or corporations. EU finance ministers have agreed to start talks with Andorra along with Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Monaco and San Marino on swapping bank account information. Recently, the European Commission told the European Parliament it wants EU-wide change of all types of income data as part of the fight against tax evasion. Welcome to the world of science. Asteroid 1998 QE2 flies past Earth. An asteroid that measures nearly 2.7 kilometers across has flown past the Earth. The space rock, which is called 1998 QE2, is so large that it is orbited by its own moon. It made its closest approach to our planet at 2015 GMT, but scientists had said there would be no chance it would hit Earth. Instead, it kept a safe distance at the closest about 58 lakh kilometers from Earth. That's about 200 times more distance than the asteroid near a miss that occurred in February, but Friday's passing space rock is more than 50,000 times larger.
even the most powerful optical telescopes, and I'm talking even, you know, Hubble telescope, they can only see this asteroid as a point of light. It is just too far and too small. Radar is a very powerful instrument that we use to study near-Earth asteroids. Asteroid Tutatis was millions of kilometers away, and we were able to resolve surface rocks. We could see boulders. There are currently only two radar facilities in the world that have sufficient sensitivity for doing regular observations of near-Earth objects, Arecibo and Goldstone. It provides an extraordinary opportunity to get very detailed radar images. You are transmitting microwaves. It's propagating at the speed of light toward the asteroid. It is bouncing back. And this radar echo is containing surface features of the asteroid. It's telling us about its rotation. And it's very precisely pinpointing its distance from the radar. This is a great opportunity because instead of sending a spacecraft to an asteroid, you are on Earth, an asteroid is coming to you. We think we're going to see images that will rival the caliber of what we can get from a spacecraft flyby mission. They really should be that detailed. And opportunities like that, um, they, they sometimes happen a few times a year, but this is the best one that we know of in 2030. And in sports! Sainan looks to retain titles in Thailand and Indonesia. Ace Indian shuttler Sainan Nehwal on Sunday said she expects nothing but defense on her titles in Thailand and Indonesia as she returns to action post a freak toe injury. It will be a busy month for young Hyderabadi as she will feature in an event in Singapore after playing in Thailand and Indonesia. The world number two Indian was forced to skip the Suriman Cup after aggravating a toe injury during India Open in April. She had suffered a hairline fracture on the small toe of her left foot before the home event. It was an inadvertent happening in house when I was injured. It was quite painful that I was not able to participate in the Sudirman Cup. But past has passed, moving ahead, I have fully recovered from injury, Sena told PDI in an email interview. And now, before we close today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. Syria conflict, Red Cross alarmed over Khwazir. Turkey assesses damage in Istanbul and Angara protests. U.S. counts cause of deadly Midwest storms. Iran President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad in helicopter scare. China General Defense Maritime Role in Island Disputes. India's economic growth at the slowest rate in a decade. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. We'll come out with fresh news every week. So be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.